guys, my name is Crystal and welcome to my YouTube channel. Welcome old subscribers, welcome new. If you like my videos, please press the like button and please do subscribe. Alexa, what's the time please? It's 8.32am. Right guys, I'm here in Rochester. Uh, Alexa, what's the date today? It's Wednesday the 11th of January. Alexa, what's the weather like? Currently... In Rochester it's 7 degrees Celsius with mostly sunny skies. Today, you can expect clouds and showers, with a high of 10 degrees and a low of 7 degrees. Alexa, can you tell me a joke? What do you call a werewolf with a foul mouth? A swear wolf. What do you call a werewolf with a foul mouth? A swear wolf. Hello, Max. Good morning, Max. Come on then. Up. So, guys, I did two videos yesterday because something stupid happened to me in the afternoon. When I came back from walking Max on the field in the afternoon, I burnt my mouth. Um, I microwaved my beans and mashed potato to go with my pasty and it was too hot so i put a spoonful of really really piping hot mashed potato in my mouth and it burnt my gums up here and my gums started going all red raw and the skin was peeling off and um, so i didn't feel like doing any videos because my mouth was really sore um, it's quite easy to forget that when you microwave a meal it gets piping hot and you put piping hot food in your mouth it burns so I burnt some of the skin off my gums yesterday afternoon and I didn't feel very well. I took Max out for a walk in the afternoon, like I said, took him round the field. We had a lovely walk. He ran around off the lead. There was no trouble because it was raining, it was damp and the grass was muddy. And, uh, you know, you, to go on the field with thick mud and water all over it, you need a thick pair of Wellingtons because if you go on the field with shoes or trainers, you're going to get soaked to the skin and your shoes and trainers are going to get ruined. I've ruined n numerous pairs of, of, of trainers thinking that the ground's going to be dry and it hasn't. It's been muddy and wet. There's nothing worse than wearing a nice, lovely, clean wet pair of white trainers going on the field and then they get all ruined and muddy. So I will, I, I'm not wearing Wellingtons because I, you know, I look like a farmer or a, or a fisherman. I'm wearing them. I don't want my shoes to get ruined on the muddy field, which is sensible, isn't it? You don't, it, <laughs> people worry about looks and then their old clothes get ruined and their shoes. came back and I just you know, I cooked, cooked dinner, burnt myself, um, sat down, just relaxed, watched telly. It's ni nice and peaceful and quiet now. There's no interruptions. And um, I just didn't feel very well in the afternoon. So I was relaxing on my settee. I wasn't falling asleep on my settee. I was relaxing, playing games and watching the telly. Because anyone that knows, when you've got a pain in the mouth or the teeth, it, it it's really puts you off doing anything. It's sore, isn't it? So my mum didn't call me yesterday afternoon, which I, I had a break from the phone. She didn't call me at all. No answer phone message from yesterday afternoon, but I've got one from the evening. I called my mother two nights ago um, because of those girls playing up on the field and she really hadn't called me back I said I said that dog could have bitten me and she hadn't called me back right and I you know my mum was actually encouraging me to talk to those girls and I said mum they've already pounced all over Max I'm not going back to have, have it happen again. So, um, later on in the evening, I went out again, and obviously I was a bit wary, and I thought, if I see 
like green flashing lights and like two bounding dogs going around the field, I'm not going to go on there. I'll just take Max for a walk around the block. And as I explain in, in a video off my iPhone, showing you my mother's answer phone message from last night, um, there was two joggers in very, very, one was in very dark clothing. You could hardly see him in the dark running behind my back. And there was a man, quite chubby, with a beard and a baseball cap on, and he was about five foot six, just that slightly bit taller than me, and he, he was jogging behind my back, and he went, <coughs> behind my back. Um, I'd been watching a film before I went out. It's a horror film called The Circus Master, and the bit that I watched before I went out was the guy saying, there's cameras everywhere. There's cameras everywhere. That's what I'd watched before I actually left the building. And there was people jogging behind me. I wasn't scared. If people are so interested in what I'm doing, that's quite, it's, it's quite flattering, actually. Right, before I get to, to showing you my mother's answer phone message, I have ordered Prince Harry's book Spare online and I've ordered a Grow Your Own Bonsai Tree. Okay, so I've got some things coming from Amazon either today or tomorrow. Now, this is my mother's answer phone message last night. And I became quite depressed after the phone call. I don't know why. Alexa, what's the time, please? The time is at 8.25 a.m. 8.25 a.m. I've just got out of the shower. Um, I believe the ambulance staff are on strike today. Um, a notification came to my phone. They say ambulance workers go on strike today with NHS offering advice on how patients will be affected. That was at three minutes past eight. It all kicked off at eight o'clock for some reason. Loads of noise, dog barking. Got myself up off the bed and straight into the shower because I'm feeling a little down. So I thought a, a shower would refresh me. I started to feel depressed. I took a call from my mum last night, well, an answer phone message, and listen to it for yourself.
her, their dogs had green like lights attached to the dog collar. So yesterday there was somebody with similar do, a dog collar with a green light on it, but it wasn't them. It wasn't them that were on the field the day before yesterday. So I carried on to the field and there was a jogger behind me, a jogger. A short, stumpy jogger, male jogger, never seen him before, in shorts. And it was spitting with rain and it was a cold, it was a male jogger. Got on, carried on walking and tried to get onto the field. And then another man, all dressed in black, started jogging past me. I'd been talking to someone of plenty of fish before I went out yesterday and they said, um, I said I suffer from pain and they said, does it affect your mobility, my mobility? And then two joggers ran past me last night as I was going onto the field. There's a direct distinction between what's happening to me and me pe speaking to people on plenty of fish and Facebook dating. Um, they're trying to intimidate me. I don't know what for. People are stopping me to take my dog out for a walk. People talking to me on plenty of fish and Facebook dating. Uh, one of them on Facebook dating said they had a nine-month-old spaniel. And that's what that dog was that jumped over me, a puppy. It's a puppy, a spaniel puppy. Um, it's, they're getting away with it because it's dark and I can't see their faces. During the day, I can see their faces and there's more people about. So if the dog tries to do me or Max any harm, other people will be witnesses. But what happened the other night was, was pitch black. It was dark and I couldn't see properly where I was going. And I couldn't see the faces of the, the people that were letting, letting that dog, which looked like a small wolf, jump all over me and Max. I do feel like I'm being intimidated, but it's not stopping me going out with the dog. Um, men wearing thick gloves and black clothes don't frighten me. I mean, I was wearing a blue thick coat, a beanie hat and Wellingtons. Um, some people don't like gloves, but I've got about six to ten sets of gloves in this flat, so gloves don't frighten me. Right, let me get on to my YouTube. See you later. <clears throat> yeah, what it, what it is, what I think it is, is I don't see my son anymore. I haven't seen my son since way before Christmas. And I think in these minds, these girls think that if they cause trouble, or I'm going to ring my son for help, but they're wrong because I just ring the police. My son is an adult. He's got his own business. Um, my other son is in Gloucestershire. I, the only other family I've got is my mother, who I rang on the field when those girls were annoying me the other night. I think these girls think I'm going to ring my son up, and I'm not. I'm 54 years old, and I, I, I don't need someone to, to, like, babysit me, do I? So at the end of the day, I mean, if someone is cause, trying to cause you harm, you've got to ring 999. And letting dogs off in the pitch black where they can't, they don't even know where their dogs are, you know, dogs can be dangerous, and so can foxes. And I know that lady downstairs is luring foxes into the road. So you've got two or three foxes coming over in the night, and, and we're talking. We're not talking about late night. We're talking about seven or eight in the more in the evening when sometimes I go to the co-op to get some food. You've got foxes coming over. So, so you've got to make up your mind. Why would someone lure a flock fox into the road? Near where I'm living. Um, and dogs barking first thing in the morning. That is the family next door to the lady that wanted me to put fox food outside someone's car. There's a family next to her where dogs bark very early in the morning when people walk past and that t lady I'm sorry but she told me they were weird 
when someone had said I was weird on plenty of fish. So, you've got to like, that's why I do videos and keep diaries and dates. And then you can go back on it and it all fits into place like a jigsaw where it's coming from. I do not think that I'm paranoid thinking it's got something to do with some of the people in this road. I'm not. See you later.